Billy here again and I'm making a chamomile infused goat milk soap. So I'm infusing organic chamomile flowers into olive oil. So I've got the olive oil already weighed out in the crock pot and I'm just going to drop the chamomile flowers on top. Just until I've got enough to submerge them in the olive oil and I'll leave that cooking for about eight hours with the lid off so that it doesn't get too hot. Or Billy here back again after I have put my Chamomile flowers in the crock pot with the olive oil, um, left it on a low setting with the lid off for 10 hours. Then I strained it uh, into another pot and left that overnight just so all the olive oil would drip through and I wouldn't get any bits and pieces in my olive oil. So now I've got that olive oil in here mixed with my castor oil. So what I'm aiming for with this recipe is a um, nice soothing gentle soap for people with sensitive skin. So I won't be adding any colour or any fragrance and I've got a fair amount of shea butter in here which we get from Baraka Shea Butter Australia. Um, they purchase it from the women in the villages of Ghana. Um, it's organic, it's fair trade and it's unrefined and it's a beautiful addition to any soap. So I'll just put that aside. Put my scales away. Now I'm using um, full goat's milk. I've already weighed that out. Um, frozen goat's milk to which I will add my lye. Just um, a little bit at a time. Let each lot um, dissolve before I add any more because I don't want to burn my milk. Just add a little bit, stir, stir, stir. It does melt down quite quickly. But to spare you all from watching the entire process, I'll um, speed this part up. So there we have it, almost completely um, melted now, the ice. I'll put that aside for a little while while I finish getting my oils ready. So here I have my hard oils which I've melted on the hot plate. I'll add my castor oil and my calendula infused olive oil to that. Shall we get it all? 
So this is my lye milk. Um, I notice whenever I use an animal milk, you get little fine particles, which I think is the fats in the milk. When I use an oat milk or something like that, I don't get that. So I always give it just a little buzz with a stick blender to break that up. into my oils here. I'll strain it. This is all the fat in the goat's milk. Will be really creamy, luscious soup. I'll just pause you while I keep buzzing, it's quite loud. Okay. Took a little while, but have a nice trace there. Just grab my mould. There we go. Keep scraping it out. Here we go. Lovely chamomile infused full goat's milk soup. So the calendula infused full goat's milk soup. Just a normal peeler, very handy. 
take the edges off. And then I'll just um, use a ruler to do my marks and I'll um, bring you back to cut it. Okay, I'll just cut it in half first because it's quite long. There we go. Calendula, calendula infused olive oil. It smells really nice. There's no fragrance in this, but just the soap itself. It's got a nice smell. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching.